Hello, Karibu. Welcome to Albo's podcast. I am Albo. Today, I talk about these people. Boom! 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 Yeah! We come in at the club and we find you looking extra hot. We try to escape, but we get caught. We just can't. Yo! Party rhymes, party signs. This girl is mine. Woo! And we're going to the best room and need a man when I go lead them astray. Big backyard and stick him out okay. But I man, no, no, I fell loosely at a yard. Listen, me research and keep you stand at a yard. Every woman need a man when I go lead them astray. Big backyard and stick him out okay. But rich man, no, no, I fell loosely at a yard. Hi, hi, Akaribu. Welcome, welcome to Albo's podcast. Today, as I mentioned earlier, we're going to be talking about these two guys because, you know, the thing has come up again, you know, after over so many years. Uh, Mr. Robert Kelly and Michael Jackson and their other persistent allegations against their sexual misconduct. Yes, so there's 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 quite a bit to uncover here, but I'm 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 gonna I'm going to sort of handle each individual, starting off with uh, Mr. Robert Kelly, who, you know, I've, I've basically you know throughout the '90s, you know, had, and you know even the 2000s had some of the biggest uh, R&B hits, you know, quite literally. This guy, the number of people, the number of songs, the number of people that he has uh, basically worked with, you know, it's 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 ridiculous. I mean, the number of songs, if you can, if you can find out the number of songs that he has done with people, it's just uh, astronomical. But you know, with R. Kelly, it's it's actually pretty simple. You know, the the the. There have been allegations and there's been evidence. You know, there's been a video out there for over two decades of, of him and, uh, you know, lewd acts with a minor, you know, a young girl. And, you know, I, admittedly, I haven't watched it because I can't watch the such. But, you know, it's been out there. That was known. And then there was the, the issue of him and marrying uh, Alia. There is a marriage certificate. So this guy, and then now there's the new, there was the new allegations from various parents about their kids, you know, for you know better, for lack of a better description, you know, kidnapped or held hostage, but at the same time you find that these girls saying they are not held hostage, they are out of their own will, but you know some of them are underage. I don't know if some were underage when they started. So it's it's really a very long winding story and through all these things happening you know so many people worked with R. Kelly so this the question that I had today in India whether we should continue to consume the art you know the, knowing the sometimes undeniable you know allegations that are that come forth you know even if there are those who say okay whatever you know it's it's not there like I was there willingly or whatever and you know, even if it's that and you are a minor, it is what it is, you know, the, it has to be treated with the seriousness and there are new ones and there's new sex tapes, uh, apparently. I mean, this guy is uh, literally a pig's tie, you know, of allegations from every corner. So as far as he's concerned, I, I, I tend to not doubt his, his guilt, although he hasn't, you know, he has already paid off, you know, before I, I have a thing about people paying off you know when people pay off it, it usually shows more guilt although not necessarily because sometimes it's just to fend off further you know uh probe into you know just to keep on tarnishing them for whatever reason this never looks good to me so as far as i'm concerned with Yama, him uh, well, the, the music has, the thing is most, and I think the reason why it went on for so long, I guess, it's because it's, it's so many people making so much money from, from his, his, his collaborations, his music, his productions, you know, when the movies, Nakumbuka, I believe I can fly, what, one of the biggest tunes ever, you know. So the Surviving Al Kelly documentary comes out, you know, six episodes, I think, and 
there's a lot of you know there's 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 a lot in there i think you have to watch it i have watched a couple of episodes it's it's, it's, it's basically what I, has been out there a lot of it has been out there already so it's kind of i felt like a compilation of some sort so na ameshiko akaeko andani so he was arrested and then somebody a woman paid his <laughs> oh god he paid uh, his his base bond or his bail or whatever so this 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 uh, you know our relationship with our artists is uh, it's very strange it's it, it's it's still a kind of it it so it perturbs me a bit uh, how we are able to sort of excuse you know a lot of that you know when it is someone we like and they had the women defending him others saying you know in some some clubs when he goes to perform saying you kidnap me like it's it's such a i don't know how to describe it you know it it, it really does um, expose us as uh, the, the, what what we are i, I guess deep down but as far as the music goes there it will be hard to give it to to stop listening because it's there's so much of it out there and a lot of it is really good you know but sasa I, as i don't know for me it doesn't it doesn't form a serious and moral conundrum as i thought it would i am not sure why although i am also not Uh, I, I am quite sure that I would like to see him if he's charged and found guilty. I would like to see him serve serious time for that It's corruption of young minds in the worst way, I guess. So it is that. So I, I don't know. I don't know how I'm able to reconcile that, but I have. So I, I don't know. So Michael Jackson for me is a more uh, complicated case, I guess. It's a lot less. There's a lot less um what's the word there's a lot less content i guess on this this new uh living neverland documentary and what not uh you know michael jackson has been weird for long you know from the time he started to to know to to tow a tint you know is is uh is hard you know we we basically had had him as a uh, part of our life since the 80s and, and we could see all the, the, the his, you know is is amusement park like you know home home where children chill, a lot of children and they are told the 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 child uh, of uh, home alone kalkin i believe you know but there was that allegation it was made by the father of a certain jordan chandler 1993 that's the, i know many millennials or some of you are unaware if you are born Uh, and some of you are just not born whatever the case might be anyway jordan chandler was the young boy at the time and the father had accused michael jackson of uh, defilement of the child it went on a really complicated um, spiral but uh, michael jackson had paid 23 million dollars to to the to those that family and then the father the the child the, the one who was supposedly was uh, molested also divorced himself from his parents legally it was like something it was so weird at the same time it's like the of course I, i don't think there was any shock that the michael jackson was had some weird tendencies and but then there are all these allegations in fact the the, the current two people that uh, that are in the documentary uh, that are the main focus of the documentary those those two people you know, they defended michael jackson at the time uh, i believe I, i haven't watched a lot of that documentary but it it is those two uh, the, the same two people who are also defended him so it is uh, it is it's a rather complicated situation on top of all that the man is dead you know so he can't defend himself anymore anything it's uh, one of those things I, i i don't think we are going to wish michael jackson music away or any of r kelly's music or that you know if it's a feeling on us as a society that we allow 
these people to do as they do, if at all they are, did what they did. If it's a failing of a society to put the artist on a pedestal, should we, should we not? Why is it that can't we help it? I don't know. There are so many cases of us uh, you know, putting people uh, on a pedestal. So even when they do things that are despicable, we, have, we find it a lot less uh, harder. We find it harder to believe that they are guilty because I guess there's this place they hold because of their art. No, it just shows you the power of art, you know, and just how, ma how much people are willing to go to to, to protect the, the idea of, of the, 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 the music or, the, or the, the music they like, the movies they like, the actors they like, musicians they like. You know, it's just how they want to protect that purity of that art. And it's for that sake on maybe that I consider, you know, I'm, I'll just leave the, the music there. If anything, you know, it's, we can't wish away things that have happened you can only learn from them is isn't it so yeah that is it for today so i'm um, just you know feeling around to see what what hits the spot with doing one topic uh, an episode i think i'm liking this a bit more because i can talk a bit more about that so on that note you can like our page share our video in this case, my video, uh, the music that I was playing, that's by Chantman. You know, I'll, I'll put the description at the, um, the YouTube channel. I'm putting this video on the, my YouTube channel, Albert Nyakundi. So, while you're on a YouTube, that's where it's at. If you are more comfortable in, in Facebook, fine. It does, I, I, I don't know, it's as if people on Facebook don't consume videos for, for a long time. If it's not just somebody talking about something. So I, I'm guessing I'm, I'm starting to lean more towards YouTube. Nikisha link you kunahuku so that uh, we can see what works. It's still early days. We, we try everything. Yeah, you know, and I treat them right, and I'm a chin on the town, you know Serious thing, me a chat, me no go fret, you know Broke them out, no smell them can't fit, you know Tell me the wine, you know, like that shit, you get a shock, you know Pop to the drum, stop the lesson and them track, you know Cop, I know, to give me a friend, them a proper fix, you know And when she lay there, she a few and the car kisser Not only this, we a pole and an hunt, you know In case you never know, so the mighty get smashed, you know Make the man know, I will take all me sit me officer But when me sit there, a man who went Jefferson She need a man and a go leader, I say Big backyard,